Barack Obama, two lovers sitting in a tree. B E A T I N G. What is it that Barack Obama promised on the campaign trail? Oh yeah, I, I remember. A new kind of politics. Well, America didn't think the new politics would be even worse than the old politics, but here's what the new politics is. You don't agree with the administration? Well, I tell you what, you know what I'm saying? You want to stand in the way of reform? No longer is it a gentleman's disagreement that can be debated. No, 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 no. You're, you're going to play ball or you're going to get a beat down. This is the most outrageous story I think that we have um, reported on and we have reported on outrageous stories. And um, because this story has not, the homework on this has not been done by me or my staff. This is not our story that we're breaking. This one is uh, from Mike Goldfarb. He is the online editor of the Weekly Standard and the former deputy director of communications for McCain 2008. So let's, let's address that first. People will say you're a political hack. Why should we believe a guy who was a commun communications director for the McCain campaign? Oh, I got a perfect track record. Uh, you know, I, I, I've, I've never, I've never made up a story before. I, I, I hope that'll be enough. Okay, um, Mike, I talked to you this morning. Um, I don't remember what it was. Ten o'clock when I first heard the story, and it fits the M.O. that we have been seeing. But you have changed your story from this morning. You said to me that it, you felt it was Rahm, or your source said it was Rahm Emanuel. What, did, did I mishear you? Have, have you changed the story? Because now the story is that it's just the white, someone in the White House. Can you tell me what happened? Look, what happened was I got a call yesterday, uh, and a source of mine at the Senate uh, told me that uh, Ben Nelson's office had gotten a call threatening to put Offutt Air Force Base on the BRAC list if he did not play ball on this vote. Uh, uh, subsequently, that, that, I put that up quickly. He told me, look, this is obviously a, a, a naked play by Rahm Emanuel. Um, okay. uh, and that was the, the exact quote I had in the story. Uh, and, and as interest in this, in this story continued, I went back to my source and I got more details. And, and, and the one thing we know for certain uh, is that the White House put in a call. Hang on, back uh, in a minute, back they, in a minute. Hang on. There's a lot of talk about changing the Earth's temperature and a new tax called cap and trade. Back with Mike Goldfarb. He's the online editor of the Weekly Standard and former deputy director of communications for McCain 2008. He broke a story today that says that uh, Senator Ben Nelson is being threatened by the White House now um, to um, uh, either sign on for health care or lose off at Air Force Base, which is strategic command. This is not just any Air Force Base. This this was Strategic Air Command, if you ever, if you grew up when I did, um, you know exactly what this base is. It was put there strategically for reasons, um, and is the place that George Bush went to for 9-11. Okay, so Mike, you were saying that you do know that the White House made the call. Yes. According to your source. Yes, and, and look, and, and as my source told me, he said, look, this was clearly done by somebody who didn't understand the BRAC process. It's actually not a very credible threat. Uh, the BRAC process won't begin again until 2012, 2013, uh, but clearly they wanted to exert some pressure, and, and I think it's evidence of a couple things. One, the desperation of the White House. Nelson has not signed on to this yet, and they are using whatever they can to push him to do it. Uh, but also, look, it's part of a pattern we've seen where they've played politics with national security most of the year. Uh, they delayed the Afghanistan troop decision. Uh, because they didn't want to rock the boat on health care until finally it was no longer possible. And they wanted to have health care done a month ago, long before they made that decision. Right. Uh, they've, they've done the same thing with Gitmo, exactly. But I think uh, they put Illinois and, at, at risk, quite honestly. And, and they've done it on Iran sanctions, which has been pushed off into the new year so they can try and resolve this health care mess. But so they are, they are doing all kinds of things with national security to try and get health care. But we have also seen the beatdowns with the Chamber of Commerce. You won't play ball. We saw it with Humana. Uh, they, they went after Humana. Um, I'm just trying to look at some of the other things. Um, we, have, um, uh, we have the Chrysler bondholders. They got a beatdown. I mean, anybody who won't play ball gets a serious... You know, they ask, they ask, they ask citizens to, to turn in their neighbors uh, and send emails to, you know, flag.gov at whitehouse.com or whatever it is. Uh, they, they wanted people to, to, to send emails uh, reporting, you know, neighbors who are making suspicious statements about health care. 
Uh, so, and, and obviously they went to war with Fox News, uh, which, but you know, the, the sort of the funny thing here is this is not a very credible threat uh, they've made to Nelson. They lost the war against Fox News. Yeah, well, uh, you, you know, know what? They, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Michael. It doesn't matter if it's credible or not that um, they could do it. The fact that they threatened it, it is our national security. There comes a point, anyone in the White House, there comes a point where you have crossed far too many lines. This is, uh, this is on the lunatic fringe, if this indeed happened. Michael, thank you very much. We'll follow the story. Be back with Final Thought. During the break, um, our White House, uh, uh, one of our White House guys um, sent a response from the White House on what we were just talking about. Oh, wait. I don't have time to share it with you tonight. I will tomorrow. It's outrageous. By the way, the name of the river in India, Ganges, I said uh, last week that it sounded like a disease. Didn't mean to offend anybody. Sorry. New York. Good night, America. Next.